everybody. So now we are going to do the hat that we just made to go along with the Bumblebee set of the ruffled diaper cover. So again, I'm making it in a newborn size, so I'm gonna use the four point millimeter hook. If you're making it for a three month size or a three month size, I would suggest the 4.5 hook. And again, you're gonna need black yarn, your yellow yarn, and for this one, uh, we make a little flower for the top of the hat. So you will need a tiny little bit of white yarn for the flower. And for the flower, I take a little tiny pink button and just glue it right in the center of it. You can do a little white pom-pom. You can do whatever you'd like to decorate it up. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and we are going to start. Now, a lot of people may do the magic circle. You can do that if you'd like. I just started using this because it Although I've crocheted for 40 something years, write my own patterns, I had such a hard time with this. But we're gonna go ahead, do the magic circle or slip chain of two or slip stitch, however, whatever's easiest for you basically. So we're gonna do 12 double crochets in that circle. And I got and you're not gonna count that chain two. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And if you hear that noise in the background, it's just my cat playing with his toys. So we're going to pull that snugly. There we go. And we're gonna join with a slip stitch on the top of our chain two. And you're gonna chain two again. Whoops, I'm wrong. Because we gotta go to the yellow. Forgot this is a bumblebee hat. So to change your colors, what I did is I carried the colors because you're going back and forth row to row. You can cut and join again if you'd like, but I'm just gonna join it. So we're gonna join the yellow before we start our new row. Let's tighten that up. And I just carry my yarn, or not carry my yarn through it, but at the end of each row, I just bring it back and forth, but I keep my yarn into the back. So for here, we are going to do two double crochets in each stitch around. Again, we're not gonna count that chain two as a stitch. So that's two, four, six, Eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, oops, oops. 18, 20, 22, and 24. Whoops, I forget I'm gonna join. So I'm gonna take that yellow, put the yellow to the back of the work, and I'm gonna bring my black back I'm gonna join with a slip stitch to the top of that chain two, chain one. Just kinda pull that yellow in the black back and pull your black just to tighten her up. So now for row three, that row will give you 24 stitches. So for row three, we're gonna chain two, we're gonna do two double crochet in the same stitch as that chain two space. And we're gonna put one double crochet in the next two stitches. We're gonna do two in the next. We're gonna put one in the next two. Two in the next. Ah, my yarn's too tight. So one in each of the next two. Two in the next. 
one in each of the next two. You're basically going to do this all the way around. And you should end up with your last stitch being two, or no, your last stitch will be, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> one double crochet in each of the last two. And we're on one where we do two stitches. Wow. I'll show it. Just trying to untangle some of my yarn here. So one in each of two. And two. One in each of two. Now two. And one in each of the last two stitches. And before you finish that double crochet, bring your yellow back, kind of hold on to your black to keep it snug. And we're gonna slip stitch into the top of that chain two and chain two. And now for this row, we're going to do, this is row four, we're going to do two double crochets in that chain, same stitch. Now we're gonna do one double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three. And two. One. Two. Three. One. Two. One. Two. Th whoops. Three. One two, one, two, three, one, two. So continue that all the way around. You're gonna end your last three stitches are gonna be one double crochet in the last three stitches, and I'll meet you back then. Okay, so we're at the end of this row. We did our one double crochet in the last three stitches. I'm gonna snugly pull that back, grab my black once again, bring my black up, and slip stitch into the top of the chain two. You're gonna chain two. Now, we're done doing our increase row, so now what we're gonna do is we are just gonna go around and double crochet in each stitch in black. So you're gonna start with that first stitch in the same one, and you're just gonna double crochet all the way around with the black. So what you're gonna do now for the next, this is row five. One, two, three, four, five. So what you're gonna do up to row 10, and the 10th row should be a yellow row, is you're gonna go back and forth, doing a double crochet row around, slip stitching into the top of the chain two, and then you chain two and double crochet around. You're gonna go up to row 10, alternating between the two colors. And once you get at row 10, which will be a yellow row, uh, I'll meet you back at that point. Okay, so we got to row 10. I do want to explain because I had said that once you get to row 10, you would fasten off, meaning you alternated the rows of double crochet rows. But the actuality of it is the row 10 is a single crochet row. So if you did do the double crochet row, don't worry about it, it'll just make your hat a little longer. But the 10th row that's in yellow is a single crochet row. And I went ahead and sewed in all my ends. So that's your little hat. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the antennas. So you will need your black yarn. And I forgot to mention before also, sorry, it's the heat here, that's what I'm gonna blame it on anyway. Um, and age, you know, the mind thing. <laughs> so for the antennas, you can use polyfill stuffing for them or if you, all your odds and ends, if, or if you have little, like these things here, enough of them, you can stuff it with that too. It's completely up to you. And if you'd like to use a smaller yarn so the antennas are smaller, by all means do that. But for, for both sizes, whether it being the newborn size or the zero to three month size, you will use a 3.5 millimeter hook. So for the antennas, we are going to do a slip stitch and we are going to chain seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are gonna slip stitch. And what we are gonna do is we are gonna do seven or six, um, 
half double crochets in this. We're going to do six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now those that you have the pattern, it'll say join and then do six half double crochets in the stitches themselves. You can do it how, I mean, there's no right or wrong. My patterns are so basic. You, there's no actual right or wrong. You can do it however you wish to do it. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to do one half double crochet in each stitch around, which is six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six. And what we're going to do is we're going to join to the top of our chain one. So that was the second row. So you're going to continue putting one half double crochet in each stitch around for five rows. So that was two, so we have three more rows to do. So once you get to the end of your fifth row, I'll meet you back then. So this is what it will look like once you have done your five rows. It's almost like a little tiny cylinder cone. Now, what you can do at this point before you go any further, this is pretty stiff itself anyway because you're using such a little hook, but I still just take a little bit of polyfill. And just stuff it down in there. Just to make it a little stiff, because these you can bend once it's on the hat. You can bend your antennas to the side or so just a little bit. Not a whole lot you don't need. You don't need any really if you don't want to. Just don't make it so put too much so you can see it all the way through your stitches. So that was row five. So now for row six what we're going to do is we're going to put two half double crochets in each stitch giving us a count of twelve. So one. Whoops. Two, three, four, five, six. And also, if you wanted to make your antennas longer, by all means, you can do that too. So, what did I have? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, and 12. And we're gonna join up here with the slip stitch. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one half double crochet and each stitch around. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And we're going to join with a slip stitch. That was row seven, which would give you 12 stitches and still. So for row eight, what we're going to do is we're going to half double crochet two stitches together all the way around to give us back, get us back to six stitches. So that's two, three, four, five. six and join with a slip stitch what you're going to do is you're going to you can go around it with a slip stitch in each one but you don't have to I'm not going to although my pattern says you can but now we're going to put some more stuffing inside of that little hole I should have probably did it before I joined it would have made it easier but you know I'm not always about making my life easier at times. So, I'm just gonna put some stuffing in there. And 
and you don't have to have it totally packed or I mean that's good right there so we're going to take our needle leave a tail make sure to leave a tail and I'm just going to weave it through those top stitches just sort of like that and I'm going to pull snugly I'm going to get those, that bit down in there and then I'm just going to kind of go across the top part just to close it off. There we go. And we have our first antenna. See it will just kind of go on to there, we'll sew it onto there. And you can bend them for pictures or however you want to do it. But anyway, do one more to the exact same and then I'll show you for attaching them. Okay, so now we are going to attach our antennas to our hat. So just cut off two strands of black yarn. Oops. And just kind of weave this through so it's in there secure. Or when you start this, if you want, you can leave a tail. I just don't because I find the tail always gets in my way. But you do whatever is easiest for you. So what you're going to do is you're going to add them. I wouldn't add them this far down. I would add them to the top. And you're going to add them onto the black row. So you're basically just going to sew it into that black row all the way around. Make sure that you don't go through it on both sides. extra ones in just to make sure it's secure. I'm just going to weave my needle through a few times and snip off. And make sure when you attach them that you're, well, I'll get a snag in my yarn. When you attach them, you attach them to the front, not the back of your work where you were doing your joining. So now we are going to do the second one. Again, we're going to just kind of weave that through our antenna so it's in there secure. There we go. And you're going to go and do the exact same thing on this side. You're going to weave, sew it into the black row. Snip, and there are our antennas. Put that up a bit more so you can see it better. There we go. And again, for pictures, you can you can kind of shape these however you want. Like I sold tons and tons, probably about a good three hundred of these sets, and I've had them with them up, with them down. I mean, all different ways, but it is super cute. And if you want to make your antennas bigger or smaller, just use a different weight of yarn or a smaller hook. So now what we're going to do for that, we need to make the hat, the little hat that goes in front. And with that, you're going to use a white. Or if you'd like your flower pink, or you can use whatever color you'd like. I chose white. And we are going to use the 3.5 hook. So we are going to this back down again so I can see properly. We are going to do a chain up of three and we are going to join with a slip stitch. We are going to chain one and we are going to do five single crochets in the center. Again, if you prefer magic ring, by all means. Three, four, five, and we're going to join with a slip stitch to that very first one. 
Now what we're going to do, we're only going to be working in the front loops. So what we're gonna do in the first front loop is we're gonna do a slip stitch. We're gonna chain one. We're gonna do a half double crochet, a double crochet, a half double crochet, and a chain one. And just a sec, I gotta get my cat now. You can't come up here, Chancy. Um, we slip stitch and we did a chain one. Now we're gonna slip stitch into the front, or actually, we're going to chain one and slip stitch back down into that stitch. I got all confused when I had to put him down. So now what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch into the front stitch of the next st single crochet. Might be a little tight in the beginning there. And we're going to chain one. And again, we're going to do a half double crochet a double crochet, a half double crochet, whoops, a chain one, and a slip stitch back into the same space. So this is what we're going to do around in each petal, which will give us five. Mind the right, yeah. So, we're gonna slip stitch. I'm having a hard time grabbing these yarns. Slip stitch, chain one, half double crochet, double crochet. I'm gonna come play with you in a bit, buddy. Half double crochet, chain one, slip stitch back into the same spot. Slip stitch into the next one. Chancy, stop. He's grabbing my yarn from oh my soul. <laughs> Chain one, half double crochet, double, half, chain one, slip stitch into the same, whoops, slip stitch into the same. And then for our last one, you gotta leave my yarn alone. Nanny will play with you in a minute, I said. Slip stitch, chain one. Whoops. Why is this so hard right now? Half double crochet. Double crochet. Half double crochet. <laughs> You're messing me up. Stop it. I probably messed this whole last stitch up and a slip stitch. Let me just get some yarn here. And then we're just going to join down into that first stitch with a slip stitch. Now for this row, we're going to use the back loops of the loops from each one that we didn't use. You see them protruding there. So what we're going to do is we are going to slip stitch into our back loop of the first one. We are going to chain two. We are going to do a double crochet. We are going to do a triple. A double crochet. Chain two. And a slip stitch. And I can't leave that like that. So that will drive me nuts. So that was a double, so this one is the triple. This yarn is really splitting. And a chain two, slip sp stitch back into there. So again, we're gonna slip stitch into the back of our back stitch that we left. We're gonna chain two. We're gonna do a double, a triple, or treble whatever you call them where you're at, a double, a chain two, 
and slip stitch back into that same space. So you're gonna do that into each one of your back loops for the next three stitches and join with a slip stitch. You can fasten off and I'll meet you right back. Okay, so we're here and we have all our petals done and I slip stitch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave a little tail on there. This might not be the best yarn that I did this with because it looks kind of, but like I said, I don't look for perfection. These are, this is all homemade, handmade stuff, so it's not made by a machine. And I can assure you there is nothing perfect about me. But that yarn is really splitting. And to be honest, I think it's Lion Brand, the, the Pound of Love, which I generally love. But So we're just gonna put that on there. And what you're gonna do is just go down and up in each of the petals. Apologize, an ambulance going by, I'm close to a hospital. And this one looks a little wonky over here, but just make it all that much more cuter. It's a thing with crochet, especially starting out or if you're trying to create patterns or trying to make your own. Don't be hard on yourself and feel, I'm not good, I didn't do it right, it doesn't look like the picture, it doesn't. Be do you and just be happy with I mean I'm not saying you shouldn't perfect your craft but enjoy it I do this because it's my love of crochet I can't I've been like I said I've been crocheting for 40 years I can't even begin to tell you how many times daily I have to pull things apart frog or to redo it or to I miss a count or I missed a row or don't be tough on yourself so then I just took a little pink bow and I just put it right in the center of the flower. And I mean, regardless of, I know one of those, one of those petals looks kind of wonky. It's an adorable little hat. Nobody's going to say, well, you know, that, that petal doesn't look the same. Just be happy with your work and, and enjoy it. It's the biggest thing. Have fun with it. Okay, so that's the little hat to go with the diaper set. And now we will start our shoes for it. Okay, so now for the shoes. Again, you're gonna use whatever size hook that you're making for that order. So I'm using, pretty sure it's the four, but let me double check and make sure. Yep, I'm using the size four. So with the black, you're going to do a slip stitch. You're gonna do a chain of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're gonna single crochet in the second chain from the hook and single crochet in the next five. One, two, three, four, five, and three single crochets in the last stitch. Two, three. Now we're gonna work on the opposite side of the chain and we're gonna do single crochet in four. One, two, three, four, and we're gonna do two single crochets in that last stitch. And we're gonna single crochet, or slip stitch, sorry, into the top of that first stitch. So that's our first row. Even though you worked on the other side, it is still just one row. So row two is we're going to do two single crochets in that first stitch. It's so hot here, my fingers are sticking to my yarn. Ugh. We're going to do four single crochets. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna put two half double crochets in the next five stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And I just want to make, oh, my soul. Should have waited until it got cooler maybe to do this. So make sure I did only do five. 
One, two, three, yep, five. And now we're gonna single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, four. And we're going to do two single crochets, or one single crochet in the last two. We're gonna go right up in that stitch beside there. And we're going to slip stitch and chain one. Now we are going to do one single crochet in the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, f five, six, seven. And we're going to do a half double crochet, single crochet in the same stitch. And we're going to do this for six stitches. One, two, three, horrible, 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 four, five, six. And now we're going to single crochet in eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I missed. So hard to see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Did I count that wrong? I made a count wrong somewhere, so I'm just going to go with it. Because it's too hard to take all this back out again and do it. My yarn is sticking to me. I do apologize. You know what? For the one that said do one, the row, previous row where it said put one stitch in the last two, just do two stitches in the last one. Maybe that will. So now here we're going to do one single crochet in the back of each stitch. We're supposed to have 29 stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and I'm going to use that last stitch as a 29. So I do apologize about that. I'm finding it hard to see my yarn because it's, I'm doing it with the black yarn on the white, and it is so hot here, my hands are literally sticking to my yarn. So... Just, I would, for that second last row, like I said, where I said do one stitch in each of two, the last two stitches, I would just do two in the last one. Just as long as you have 29 when you do in the back rows here is fine. Go by the pattern, I don't mean actually purchase, I mean like whatever the pattern says, go by that more so, but I mean it is right, just, just make sure you have 29 stitches at this point. So we're going to single crochet in the next eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we're going to single crochet two together six times. One, two, three, 
four, five, and six. And we're gonna single crochet in the last nine. We should have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And we're gonna join with a slip stitch. And the next row we are gonna single crochet in seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are gonna single crochet two together five times. One, two, three, four, five, and single crochet in the last seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and slip stitch to the top. For this row, we are gonna single crochet in six. One, two, three, four, four, five, six. We're gonna single crochet two together three times. One, two, Three, and we're gonna single crochet in the remaining stitches, which I believe is seven. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we're gonna slip stitch to there. Now what we're gonna do is we are just gonna single crochet all the way around the little shoe. I don't know if you can see that clearly, but and I'm, I'm extremely sorry for that mess up. And if I knew how to edit, I would take that part out and do it again, but I'm just learning how to merge my videos together. I have so much on the go that I work a full-time job of building caretaker and I have my patterns that I try to create for my Ravelry shop and try to keep up with them. So single or slip stitch around, get to the end, join. I'm gonna cut that little tail off. I'm just gonna go down inside of the boot. And this is a newborn size, so that's why it's quite, quite, quite tiny. And there's the little shoe. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the little bow for the shoe. We're going to use the three or the 3.5 hook again. We are going to do a chain of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are going to. I got. I can't remember. It's a single crochet or half double. Um, half double. So we are going to half double in the second chain from the hook and across in each stitch, which will give you seven. You're gonna chain one, turn, and you're gonna half double crochet across again in those seven stitches. You're gonna chain one and turn, and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna single crochet around the whole entire little piece you've just done here. And you're gonna put two single crochets in each corner. And 
button on the ends, just wherever you can get your, I wouldn't go down into the actual stitch of the hole of the, of it because it will pull it apart and you'll have like gaps in it. I'm just gonna weave that end in on the other side here as I go. And again, right into the corner, I'm gonna add two. Single crochet across this side. And now I'm back at the beginning. I'm gonna put two in that corner because we didn't do two. And I'm gonna join with a slip stitch and I'm gonna cut it off. I'm gonna sew this end in because the other one I weaved in. And this isn't a part, this is just a little bow so you don't have to go all kinds of times to sew it in. Now what you're gonna do is take, cut off a piece of yellow yarn, weave it through your tapestry hook, and then just, you're gonna weave it in here a couple times just so it's secure. Go that way, and I'll go back this way. So I got it in the center on the opposite, on the wrong side of my work. And I'm gonna come up in the center here and I'm just gonna weave that through a few times. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull snug. So see how it's pulled snug? And you're gonna take a few times. I don't know how, hopefully that looks even right now. Looks big on one side more. There we go. And you weave your yarn around a few times. And once you weave it around, hold on to it you're gonna weave your yarn in the back here so you got that snug there. And then you are going to put your bow in the front. Again, if you want your bow smaller, you can use a smaller hook, smaller yarn, completely up to you. I'm gonna weave that through. And there's your little shoe to go with your, your little set. So there's your shoe. Make a second one, of course. Put this up a bit. Your shoe. And your hat. And I still didn't get the other ruffle on my diaper cover, but. So there's your shoe, your hat, and your little diaper cover, which consists of the whole entire set. Super, super, super cute. I mean, a great little baby shower gift, Halloween outfit, photography outfit, and if you are a photographer, um, I have tons of little outfits you can make like these to, to put on your babies for the pictures. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Again, I do apologize about um, messing up when I did the flower. As I said, there's nothing perfect about me, so I'm in mistakes with my stuff on a daily, daily daily habit that I have, whatever it is. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to start being able to do them more and have more videos on as opposed to a month, a few months in between. I'm really trying to start to grow my channel now. So if you would like to subscribe and actually give me a thumbs up for this video, it costs you nothing, but it definitely helps my channel and I would be forever grateful and be very appreciative. Thank you guys. Have a great long weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.